Congratulations to the Bonnies, their captains and coach Mark Schmidt. 2009, well, 40 against Binghamton. Uh, five turnovers is a season low and season best free throw percentage. We'll start with coach and open it up. Um, this is a prime example of, um, you know, when you stress to your team that defense is, has to be the staple. Um, offense is fickle, jump shooting is fickle. If you defend, you take care of the basketball, you have a legitimate chance of winning. If you defend, take care of the basketball and rebound, then you have a great chance and, and usually you blow the team out. Um, and we did two of those things today. Um, usually if you shoot two for 20, um, it, it's not too good an evening. But I thought our defense was terrific, um, and, and we had five turnovers. And, and that was, those are two big areas that, that we stress um, in foul shooting. You know, everybody was killing us on the foul shooting, and, um, you know, we missed one today. So it's a great effort by our guys defensively, great effort by our guys taking care of the basketball. Um, and now if we can get our offense going again, um, have a better chance of, of winning some games down the road. Mark, can you talk first what, you know, Sean, how he sets the tone you know, for the, you defensively? The key, there's two key, keys going into the game. We had, we had to control Himes, and we had to do a good job on, on Anaseki inside. And I thought Shalon did a tremendous job, not just him, but it was a team thing, but we wanted to really pressure him, control him, corral him and ball screens, um, and I thought Shalon did a great job with that. Um, and we went to some 2-3 zone um, that, that really helped us uh, as well. But, yeah, the, the point guard initiates everything. He initiates defense. He initiates your offense. If you're going to push the ball, the, the, the point guard has to be a, the aggressor. When you play full court man-to-man, -man, um, you know, when you want to try to keep the ball in, in front of you, it's, it's the point guard that, that begins it. And uh, he did a heck of a job tonight. Coach, between, you know, what he did, you know, on... Barron, Ignatius, and Green at Niagara, even Cooper, Ohio, then tonight. Just talk about what he's, I mean, he's been doing that really all. all yeah, he's, he can really move it. He has, he has a gift. You know, he can really move his feet. You know, he's got good length. Um, you know, Lord give him a good body. Um, and he has great feet. And, and he has that mentality. He wants to be a stopper. He, you know, he, he's not soft. He, he wants to get into the ball. And that, that initiates everything. And that's, you know, when we play good defense, it, it starts at the point guard position. You talk about especially in the second half. I mean, you know, it's a, it's you know a close game at halftime. In the second half, nineteen percent, seventeen. Yeah, they you know they scored seven points, and I think in the first minute, and I think after that they scored you know ten in the last eighteen, nineteen minutes, and you know we played you know on we would change up defenses on on makes we we would you know play some some three quarter court pressure pressure back to zone and uh, misses we would play man to man, um, you know just to try to keep them off balance and try to keep Himes. From you know they do a lot of high ball screen stuff and that you know the zone kept them away from doing that, um, but you know I, I thought you know the defensive um, stops that we get that we got and we got a number of them. and I if we had just hit two or three jumpers it could have really you know the game could have really went into our to our favor uh, but we just couldn't hit those shots to get the crowd into it to to make that final push um, but in the last five minutes. Um, you know, we, we did a good job of, of finishing the game. Was, was Himes the, the main reason that you went yeah. to 2-3 a little mm -hmm. bit today? Because you really mm -hmm. haven't done that. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, and they, you know, they weren't shooting the ball well coming into the game. They weren't shooting the ball well. And, um, you know, Anaseki is such a, a good player inside. We wanted to try to put um, feet around him and, and, um, and Himes being such a good player on, on the perimeter. So we, we thought that was, you know, part of, the, uh, of, our, of our thought process. Sean, can you talk about relishing the role of, of being a you know, shutdown guy? Uh, I think the first thing, the first reason I came to America was because there were such great guards, and it's always a challenge to, to, to play against all these great guards. And the coaches and even my teammates believe in me that I can I can I can slow this slow the player down. So I I enjoy it. I love I love. So slowing them down and getting my team all hyped. Can, you, can either of you guys talk about the job you did defensively tonight, especially in the second half? Um, well, we knew going into the game that we were facing uh, a good point guard at Himes and a good inside guy at in Sigma. So uh, we just stuck to our game plan that we went over um, all week in practice, and then we executed good tonight, and we were able to, uh, for the most part, shut those guys down. I think 
the, the, the biggest thing coming into this game was that we got to do it together. And I think we made a good step today of doing it together, offense and, and defense. And if, if somebody was late or couldn't get the rebound, we made sure that somebody else boxed out so that just so that the uh, other person can get a rebound. So I think this, this was the first step of us, us all doing it together. Mark, what's happened defensively? Are they just collectively this kind of Figuring out what you're teaching about this? Or? Yeah, you know, it's we didn't do it against Buffalo, so um, I'm not sure you know, why we did it today. Um, but I we have good guys. We they understand the importance of of, of defense, um, and, and it's it's evolving. You know, I thought you know last year you know we didn't start off great, and you know as the season went along, we got better and better. And, and part of it was we had good guys that that were coachable. And the same thing here, and we got competitive guys that want to win and understand that. If we don't defend, we're not going to win, um, and that's and that's what we did tonight. You know, if we had played defense like we did against Buffalo, you know, we would have lost by 25. You know, so it's um, you know we have a mentality. <coughs> Kids understand that how important the, the the defensive end is, and how important taking care of the basketball is, and you know they they they're coming around, and um, that's good to see. You guys are such a good <coughs> defensive team last year too, and it's and it's kind of started to, to carry over. Do you feel like that's kind of been your identity? Maybe yeah, you know, you want to make that the staple. You know, it's, you know, early on, you know, someone said that we're going to be the loyal and Marymount of, of uh, you know, the Atlantic 10. Um, but that's not the way it is. We, you know, we, we have to defend, we have to rebound, we got to take care of the ball, basketball. And, yeah, and you're right, it's, it's evolving. You know, it's like last year, I think, the kids, you know, you learn how to, and I've said this before, you learn how to win by winning. And last year was, was a great learning curve. For, we had a great learning curve. You know, it started off like we didn't know what the heck we were doing, and, and we just got better and better. And I think this year, it's, the, the kids understand that we won last year because of defense, and that's how we're going to win this year. You know, we can't out, we're not going to outscore. You know, we outscored Buffalo. Um, we got lucky. Um, you know, we shot the ball so well. But we're not going to do that every night. In order for us to win, there's going to be a lot of nights where we struggle offensively and, and our defense is going to carry us. You know, and hopefully there's some nights where we struggle defensively and our offense is going to carry us. But for the most part, it's going to be the other way around. You know, we have to defend. We've got to rebound. We've got to take care of the ball. And, and we did two out of three today. Uh, they were a good rebounding team. Anasiki is, you know, second in the, league, in the nation. So we knew it was going to be a difficult task rebounding. Um, but it's defense. Defense is the staple. Defense is something that you have to do every game if you want to have a chance to win. And having said that, I mean, how much of a concern is it that you might not have some of these nights offensively where, where it's, it's, you know, really working? Then that's why the defense is there. That's the staple. That's why you have to play defense. You know, it's every game. We're not going to shoot 50%. We're not going to score 82 points. We're not going to shoot 8 for 16. You know, we're not going to, you know, I don't know what we shot in, you know, in, in previous games, but we've been shooting the ball really well. And that's not going to happen. Offense is fickle. You know, sometimes the jump shot's going to fall. Sometimes it's not. And when, when it doesn't and you're not playing defense, you got no chance, you know, and we got to make sure that defense is our number one priority. It has kinda, to be. You kind of just touched on it, but how is it like confidence-wise to know that you can shoot that way and play in ten, you know, be great on defense and still play? Yeah, I think it's a confidence booster to our guys. You know, that's what I said in the locker room. I said, you know, guys, we shot two for twenty. We shot thirty-five percent. We shot ten percent from threes, and we just won by fifteen. You know, just imagine if if you know we had hit four or five more threes. You know, we shot our average. You know, it, it would have been that much. You know. The difference would have been that much bigger, you know. So it's. I think it gives that guy's confidence that you know if you don't play well offensively, it's not like oh god we're gonna lose. You know, there's gonna be nights like this. You know, there's gonna be nights. Everybody's gonna every 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 year you're gonna have nights where you don't shoot the ball well. And the good teams are the teams that are able to win those games because they defend. Is it a coach's dream when you get a player like that? Yeah, who relishes. Yeah, it's that? like because I mean, most guys you got to drum that home time and time again to, to, on the defensive end. Not just yeah, the guys have that willingness. Yeah, I don't, you know, you want guys that are self-motivated, you know, and, and I tell, tell guys, you know, it's like my job is to motivate them, but there, there, there's some days where they need to motivate me. Um, and, and Shalon is somebody that comes to practice every day. And you, don't, you don't have to yell at Shalon. You don't have to get him going. He's, he's a self-starter, and that's what you want. You know, not all guys are like that. You know, most guys aren't like that. Um, and when you get a self-starter, that's the joy to coach. And that's, you know, Andrew Nicholson last year was a self-starter. That's why it was so much fun to coach him because, you know, you knew he was getting everything out of him, out of himself.
And Shalon's the same way. He's in the gym all the time. He's a self-starter, and that's you cherish that. And, and one of the reasons why you're in the business. You were right about the free throws. You hit the first couple tonight, and then it was contagious the opposite way. Yeah, well, as I told people, it's um, the last couple of days. My assistants were um, responsible for the foul shooting before this. And um, I, the last two days, I took control of it, and I gave my assistants the three-point shooting. Um, so now I'm going to have to, I'm not sure, I think I'm going to have to take both. We really worked on that. It was me. Marquise, uh, another double-double, and in the second half, you were fighting the post a lot. Uh, can you just talk about that? <clears throat> um, but like I said at first, we knew that um, Anasiki was a, a good post player, a great rebounder. So uh, my job was to just make it hard for him to get touches tonight and uh, keep it out of the post as much as I possibly could, so that we wouldn't, so that I wouldn't get into all trouble. Or we wouldn't have to double or anything like that. So it was, it was just like I said, the game plan that we went over. That um, it was my job to keep the ball, the ball out of the post tonight, and that's what I tried to do. Anything else? Thank you.